It was a warm fall day when I was a freshman walking down the engineering quad that I saw Dexter. Well, that was the beginning of an experience that is hard to describe. Dexter is a pure robot. He has no steering wheel, no brake pedal, no accelerator. It's all computers talking directly to the machine. We built the controls and the intelligence for Dexter to compete in the 2007 DARPA Urban Challenge. I was the chief software engineer on the Dexter project. I just thought it's pretty much the coolest engineering project there is. We're testing his U-turn, so you see he's going to go down this stub. See his arc to the left there. This was a good fit for us because we do have, uh, in the case school of engineering, a 20-year history in biologically inspired robotics research. And that background was appropriate to this task where robots had to make competent decisions in complex scenarios. And I learned some complex algorithms and control algorithms that I'm now just learning in my junior year coursework. Part of what I think helped drive the group was uh, that we did have uh, a spotlight on us. Uh, we were fortunate to be one of the teams selected for the Discovery Channel's documentary on the Urban Challenge. What amazed me most about the students was their dedication, their cleverness, their competence, their ability to work well together as a team, and always keep a sense of humor, uh, even under stressful situations. There. We can all laugh at how stupid some mistake was, or how exciting something was, or how nearly Dexter almost killed us again. I probably don't want to talk about that one with the freshmen coming in, but. <laughs> I think uh, the world seeing us on par with the very top engineering schools uh, shows that that's our rightful place in the pecking order. Uh, and I think that the, uh, the students that participated on Dexter will go out and be good ambassadors for us. When Dexter was put in the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum, it was sort of a bittersweet moment because Dexter is a really cool robot. But it was, uh, it was a long two years and it was an experience that I don't think we could give for anything else. But time to move on. <laughs>